Hey there guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to the stream. It is Monday the 19th of February. We are back and we are playing Recursed. Hope you had a great weekend everybody. Whatever you got up to. But we are back and we are going to be taking on these damned Ublix. Uh, we've only got one more level in here to go. And then we'll be heading over to the last tapestry. I will say I am going to leave the... Um, uh, rubies and crystals and things and the paradoxes until after I've completed all the levels so um, Yeah, but without further ado, let's jump into the final map from the Ublix and this is dump Okay So That was dumb. Insta fail. Can't jump up there. What's in here? Create a pot. What can we do with the pot? Let's think. We can create a pot. That seems like probably about the only useful thing we can do right now. create two pots. I could bring a pot over to that side, right? Using the oobleck. We have unlimited oobleks as well, which is good to know. Right, now we're going to the pot. Take this up here. Oh, jump and throw, which would be pretty nice. There we go. Now we go through here. Yes. Ha 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 Something not quite right about that, is there? Let's face it. Just trying to think about this as well, actually, how we would do this. The keys. There is only one key. To get the key, we need to get the um, the block out, right? We could throw that up there. Really does nothing for us though. So that would be a waste of time. If we did, no, we can't jump that over there because we can't actually jump over there ourselves. So yeah, we would need to do this to get across to here. But we would kind of need to be in that green chest to do that, right? So... Thank you. 
We have unlimited replication power. into here but it doesn't really do us any favors I mean we create another pot creating the pot doesn't really do anything because that just we, yeah we already established that we just lose the ublick so that's no good there If I jumped into here, created a pot, jumped into here, So what I should have done, that's, that's that is the right thing to do. What I should have done though, is I should have, when I created the pot, I should have jumped in the chest first. That would have then got me inside the green chest and I then been able to manipulate and carry that around. So, i do that. I don't know if we need a pot on this side or not, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Okay, so we do that. Then we jump into the pot. Then we jump into the chest. Oh. There we go. I don't want you. Go away. Okay. Okay, so now we have that. Now we go and get the Ublek. Pick up the key. I think I should have put the key in the chest before I got rid of that pot, possibly. Because I can only take one thing through to a room with me at a time, so... So that'd be three keys. Because yeah, I have no way to get this... had the green key in here that would be it all right so let's try and remember what we did picked up the oblique create this chest on this side Now we go into here. 
create a pot. Take the chest into the pot. Jump into the chest. Go back here. Maybe that's what I missed last time as well. Throwing that back into here then, then gives us access to it again, right? So. I think I possibly need two of those. Uh, no, not two. We can't get this back out of this room, though. Yes, we can. But then we lose that room, and now we just screwed it. Ah. I don't know about There isn't a way for me to take the the other chest back out of here, is there? Oh, hold on a minute. What if I did? There may be a way out after all. No. No, there is a way out. There is a way out. There is a way out. I would need the chest down here again, though. I hope you're living this like, level of indecision from me right now. Alright, so let's... That's going to screw us, isn't it? Yeah, it screwed us. <laughs> Mm 
All right. I don't even know if... Ooh, that was close. I don't even know if I'm on the right, like, lines with this or not. I'm trying. One. Two. Three. Let's go four, just to be safe. Now I'm going to do this. I need to do three, but... Well, that didn't work, did it? I think what I forgot to do was throw the chest back. Alright, so then we do that. Returns to here. takes us back but now we're back in the same situation where yeah it didn't help us at all frustratingly completely lost my thought process with this right now, unfortunately. I can't even remember what I was trying to achieve. Sad times. Oh, I don't want to do that. What did I do that for? Alright. I don't know what I'm doing. I need to get that key to the other side. Maybe it's the pot I need to replicate. We know how to get the key, that's fine. Let's 
So here I would need... Alright, for that to work I would need to already have the stone. So let's create a... Let's create a copy of the first chest. Right, now we're going to do this again. Okay, so that's that. Problem is now... I don't have a way back to that room on this side. Because I could have... Oh! Right. Okay, okay, okay. Right, so... Let's do... Let's create a pot first. Leave that pot alone. We're not going to touch that pot for now. Take this. Create the pot. Go in here. And do what we've been doing. The aim here is to get the block out. No! <laughs> Actually, it's not all doom and gloom. So we head in here and we'll leave that there. Okay. Now, this block doesn't matter, but we did need that green chest. This green chest was here. Let's see, hold on. Yeah, this is where I'd need the green chest to then get up to the top so I could take the key, throw the key across. I think we're getting close. And then if we had the chest, we could get ourselves up there, bring the key back out. So let's imagine we have the key here. Drop the key here, leave here. We also need to replicate the key here on in here first. Is that right? Yes. We replicate the key in here, then when we take it through, it creates another copy and the... Yeah. 
All right. The thought process is kind of working. We're getting there. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit. The key here is to not lose the green chest. No! <laughs> What did, what did I just say? Ah, oh dear. As much as I love this fantastic game, it does have its frustrations. I'm just creating this one mainly just for safety. Alright, take the key in here now. Right, so... Key now wants to go across the other side. Think about this a moment. Let's leave them there. They're, they're perfectly safe where they are. Okay. So this is how I bring the key across to here. I do believe I'm going to want a pot at some point. As long as we keep the pot, we can always retain the chest, as long as we remember to throw the chest back. Okay. Right, throw the chest back. Take this. I think we are almost done, guys. Still have a pot on the outside. Now we bring a new black out. Now I take this into here. Oop. And now I take this key. My goodness. That was tough. That was tough. All right, so like I said, though, we're going to come back to the crystals and everything afterwards, but now we head on to the second of the add-on level map packs things. This is the last tapestry. Oh. Of which there is a pyramid and then an upside-down pyramid to tackle, it seems. So... First up, we have cauldrons. So what do these things do? We can move them. Oh, 
Okay. Seems like then, cauldrons are... It's like they're linked. Okay. So cauldrons are kind of like part of a cycle of, of rooms that you have to cycle through. What we didn't check there though was... If I just do this, say... Okay. Items do persist. Items do persist through cauldrons. Okay. Now, if we cycle back through again, get another block because that's a room and that resets. All right, so this is this is gonna be confusing, dude. Pocket. So this kind of reminds me of something Hugo did before in one of his maps, where we almost use one of the rooms as a kind of pocket in here so I believe what we're going to want to do is take the cauldron put the keys in the cauldron here then take the cauldron into this room So they're kind of like the um, the pots, but they don't. You can use them more than once, effectively, I guess. All right, let's see what we've got, cauldron-wise. Okay. Here's the key wall. So put the block in here. Take the cauldron into here. Pick up the block again. That gets us the key. Okay, I think we're, we're grasping this pretty well at the moment. At the moment. Purge. Ooh. We need to exit the room to get rid of this one. Then we can jump back in into the cauldron oh I may have just lost that block though oh yeah okay my bad I've lost a block but that's the right kind of thing that we need to do so, yay is me. 
if we exit the room, obviously it resets. But the cauldron does not. a room, not a cauldron. I think I need to take the cauldron with me. I think that's the whole point. Swapper! I've already been in a hundred cauldrons. Wow. I need the block though. This is where I started though, right? is next. feeling we're going to want to submerge this with the pot in there like that but then we've lost okay we've lost the cauldron I love that metal clanking sound. Yes, if I'm not like a complete tired about this. Cauldrons are. Ooh, so cauldrons. Seems like they are immune to water. <sighs> Interesting. So, what if I just did, just for. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's just too close. Maybe there's just some sort of collision going on there or something. I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, no. That isn't the case. It's not going to do a disappearing act on us. Uh, 
Oh, interesting. Cauldrons aren't affected by the water, it seems. Okay. It's interesting to note. So we can bring it out into the dry. Probably gonna want to take this one back in though. At a guess, I think that key is a bit of a red herring. Or that lock, sorry. Or well, maybe not. All right, so we do need another key. I guess that'll make us allow us to jump. Really? Really? Getting confusing, man. Oh, it's a room, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a room. So the minute I walked out of there. So, we need both the dry and the wet properties of the... Key in here. Let's put a key in here. Now I want to put the chest in there. Cannot leave this room. All right, I think we got it. We got it. Oh my goodness, I can't get it. Do I need to get... Hold 
Hold on a minute. You know what I said about that door lock being a red herring? I think I'm going to go back on that. And I'm going to start climbing pick up the fucking block now. Sorry, guys. I think I'm going to go back on that now and say I think the door lock is a red herring. Wow. <laughs> All right, what we got? We got we still got time. Grow is our next map here. Cauldron in the cauldron. That ain't good. Because now I've got nothing. Alright, I just need to think about the process here of actually replicating. So that just then becomes like... Obsolete. Need to go in a cauldron, man. I don't know what I just did, but that kind of worked. Alright, so now I just need to rinse and repeat, I guess. Jeez, this is... I should really do is take this from here. It'd save me going back to uh, get that at a later date, right? How many do I more do I need? I'll do. Just two. Just needed two. Next up is fork. Holder number one goes to an empty room.
I am so confused. Oh, there's more than one room, that's why. Well, that one just goes round. This is the one that goes to three different rooms. Alright, we need to take both in here, I think. One. Then we take this one into here. Oh, but now I've lost the freaking thing because I left the room. Alright, so. Oh wait, I did something weird with the cauldrons, man. I like desync them. Ooh, this is getting trippy. Is this where the keys are? cauldron down. I can jump back up here, right? Yep, yeah, okay. So. Let's take this one. Throw you down. lost that though, but I've lost that room as well. It's almost like you can program the cauldrons as to which order they go in. So I'm wondering... I'm all kind of confused right now. Oh, I'm, getting... I'm not following how these cauldrons are working now. So that one is that and the grey room. This one is that and the orange room. Okay. So that takes me to orange. Blue. What? Poor Ponky, what are you doing to me, man? Grey, orange, blue. That one just returns to blue. 
But then that one does all three. I am... Um... Seriously, I'm dazed and confused with this. I should take me back to the blue. I'm going to need to... Well, I've done it. The problem is I don't really know how I did it. Bicycle. Okay. Two keys. Cycles between two rooms. But now I'm screwed. This is making little sense to me. Again. This may have actually just blown my mind. This is what I don't understand. Why is it now the cauldron now starts behaving like that? I don't get it. It's almost like the cauldrons are mimicking my... Oh, hold on. Maybe I'm doing this the wrong way. Oh, they won't do that. Thank 
I needed the chest down here, so I need to throw the chest down there. Okay. This is something. No, we don't want to go through there. I lost the key though now. I'm getting close. Oh my goodness. I got the right idea, but I need to give it a little bit more thought, it would seem. But I am going to leave it there, guys. So, pretty good progress today. We nearly got halfway through the um, last tapestry uh, puzzles. I need to understand the cauldron mechanic a little bit better, though, because it's clearly something that I'm still not quite getting. And we finished off the Ublik uh, conundrum as well. So uh, tomorrow we'll pick it, pick it up with Bicycle. Um, we have... Uh, what have we got there? Ten. Twelve puzzles left here, and then we will um, start looking for crystals and apparently rubies. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, links for the screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. I'll be back same time, same place tomorrow for some more recursed action. But until then, I've been Knock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.